It's been a great 2023 deer season. We've got two really good deer down and we're only about a month into the archery season. Um, the first deer went down uh, on the second day of the season and it was a deer I took. It was a beautiful deer and um, unfortunately had trouble with the cameras. I did not get the shot uh, on uh, video at all and when I realized that I was so uh, frustrated that I didn't even video uh, the recovery or anything after that. But I do have some clips uh, from that day leading up to the hunt, actually a very short clip of the deer walking out uh, and coming into the field. So uh, I have to cut those in somewhere. I have to show those clips because uh, it's a really great uh, deer. Uh, so I'm going to start with that uh, short clip and then uh, it'll move into the second uh, deer that we have down. And that was a deer that Josh uh, took on October 10th and it's a really great deer and a really fun hunt. We have really good video of, of all of that. So um, here's a couple of hunts on uh, a couple of bucks that we already have down here in, in 2023. September 16th, bow season opened yesterday. I didn't get to go, it was my daughter's birthday. First things first today, uh, Mizzou game. We got Kansas State uh, coming in town and uh, it's a game at 11 o'clock kickoff. So uh, gonna go to the game. Hopefully we can get a win here in Columbia, head back home, and then uh, I'm going to hop in the truck and we're going to the stand. I got a couple great bucks. I got a great buck at Queen City, got a great buck at uh, the Scotland County Farm. Uh, two really good bucks that uh, I'm going to be after this year. So I do have a little bit of food. I got some soybeans that are okay. I got some brassicas that are okay. Clover is non-existent. Sweetgrass, non-existent so far just can't catch a break with the rain so um, food plots are poor but I do have enough food that it's drawn some deer and, and a couple of really great bucks. This will be a 61 yard field goal attempt by Harrison Davis. Oh he booted it! He booted it! So you see that was a really special deer, uh, probably uh, my favorite deer I've ever killed. Definitely is, is my favorite deer I've ever killed. We didn't put a tape on him, uh, but he's, uh, we're guessing at the taxidermist, he's north of 150, uh, as an eight, a, a typical symmetrical eight uh, in, in full velvet. And that's just not something you see in Missouri. So that was a very special deer. Uh, and I did not know he was in velvet. It was a complete surprise to me. I had not I gotten a picture of him uh, for a little while leading up to the season and so I, I had no idea he was uh, in full velvet. So he's a very special deer. Uh, just a shame I didn't get the, the shut on video. So now that uh, that uh, uh, that's all the video I have uh, of that hunt and uh, after that hunt then uh, I took, went out with Josh uh, again on October 10th uh, about three weeks later and uh, we had a really good hunt and, and this is that hunt. Heading to Mr. Josh's farm October 10th 65 degrees, clear, beautiful day. We're gonna get his blind, crossbow. We're gonna get it done. Gonna shoot a buck. He hasn't shot a buck for a while. So it's gonna happen tonight.
sun gets down. Hopefully we see some deer moving. Let's go.
the bow. Give me the bow. I have to get another arrow in. Here it is. All right, so Josh did it. That's a, it's a big buck. It's a really nice buck. I, <clears throat> he spined him, and uh, so we had to put another arrow in him. But we got another arrow in him, and uh, he, he's uh, he's done. So I'm gonna go get the truck, and we're gonna pick him up. Really nice buck. I didn't think it was gonna happen. Yeah, thank you. It was so hard to get because he came out in a bad spot for us. He came out out of a window we weren't really prepared to shoot out of, and so we had to really do some rearranging with him in close quarters. And and uh, he was uh, spooky there. But we, it happened. We got it done. We just, Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe it. I was thought, man, there's no way this buck's going to get away from us being this close and right there. But also I was like, man, I don't know what's going to happen. It was like 50-50. And, uh, and it came together as a really nice buck, Josh. I was not expecting to see a buck. I was about ready to shoot that little one. I was not, yeah, I wasn't expecting to see a buck of that size at all. Um, so I'm going to go get the truck and, and we're going to get him. Get him up here. I may go get him and drag him up here, and then and then go get the truck. And I hope I'm the buck I'm thinking he is. It's a it's a good buck. I can tell you that. Yeah, we'll get some different pants. So, all right, I'm gonna go get this buck and get him dragged up here. Okay, here we go. He slid down the back of the plot a little ways, losing light. <laughs> Try and get him gutted while I still got light. There he is. It's a nice buck, for sure. Uh, yep, no doubt. He's a big body, old fool. Yeah, really wide. It's a nice buck, for sure. All right, we got the deer loaded. We're on our way home. It's a crazy hunt. You know, that little smaller buck came out that I think that's what we'd seen the most pictures of. I thought, you know, that's probably what we're gonna shoot. And that's what we're gonna shoot. And then that really nice buck came out. Josh had a picture or two of him before. And uh, it took a lot of working around to get to him because he came out on the end of the blind. We weren't really prepared to shoot. We had to readjust, and, and uh, they were in tight, uh, spooky, you know, suspicious something was going on because it was. But we finally um, sneaked around enough and got things moved around enough we could get a shot. And Josh got a shot uh, on him and uh, got him down. So it wasn't a, uh, a long track job. Not a necessarily where you want to hit him but at least what I didn't have to track him but we recovered the deer got some good pictures with him and he's a nice buck he really is I mean it's a good buck so good hunt Josh what do you say anything any words that was a target deer for that farm so it was it was he had a picture too of that deer and he'd sent it to me a while back uh, but I don't he wasn't regular by any means just a couple of pictures so uh, definitely not expecting him I can't believe he happened to show up when we went hunting so I'm glad definitely glad we came tonight the good cold front was over the weekend and we didn't we didn't come out uh, we're hunting really the, the day or two after the good cold front uh, so it's surprising that he showed up there so good hunt all right Jay nice work buddy thank you great hunt thank you for taking me again you bet you bet